Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Jacques Wessels and a super welcome to Web Nomads, a place where you can learn how to start, create and build a beautiful blog that you will love. And today, today we are going to talk about Wix and can you as a beginner blogger start a blog with Wix? <laughs> Blogging with Wix. Can you? And my answer is most definitely a big fat yes. But it's a big fat yes if you are completely new to blogging and this crazy online world we all are trying to make a living off. If you are someone with without any special skills, any coding skills or any skills at all, to be honest, you will be able to to build a blog on Wix in a matter of minutes. You know, there are a lot of people in this world who doesn't care for complicated content management systems like WordPress. There are millions of people who just want to have access to a platform where they can easily create a blog for themselves. Someone who would, who would rather concentrate on writing than actually designing all kinds of crazy pages and websites and blogs. So if you if you fall in that category, blogging with Wix is a perfect platform for you. As a matter of fact, I am going to go and show you how you can build a very cool looking blog with Wix in a couple of minutes. So, let's go. Okay, so let's get this party started. So just below the video in the description, there's a link right next to start here. If you use that link, it'll take you directly to this page you see on your screen right now. And it is my affiliate link. So if you use that link, I'll, I'll greatly appreciate it. So um, let's get started. So if you get to this page, all you can do is just go ahead and start here or start now. All right, you'll get to a sign up page. You can either continue with Facebook or Google or Apple, or you can just go ahead and sign up with your email address. So what you can do is just go ahead and click sign up and then say, then just add all your details. Then you hit sign up and then it will take you to a page. Save that one, it'll take you to a page like this one over here. You can just go ahead and skip. Don't worry about it too much now wix wants you to um, you know they want you to choose between the adi which means artificial design intelligence or you can go ahead and create your own website i would definitely recommend doing it with um you know creating your own website right here because it's just easy and you know so go ahead and choose template template so now we are starting a blog right so let's go ahead and click on the blog drop down here and I'll take us through to all the templates, uh, you know, for blogging. Blog. All right. So now we've got all these cool looking blog templates right here. So on top here, you can see all the different niches and industries. So if you are in the personal blog space, you can go ahead here or in news and business, food and travel and so on. I'm just going to go ahead for this tutorial purposes. I'm just going to go ahead and click on this one because this one is the, um, the, um, very close to a blog I want to start. I want to start a hiking blog. So I'm just going to go ahead and click this one here or go ahead and edit and it'll take me through to the editor. All right, cool. So now we are here at the editor. So now Wix is obviously going to have this display here, a welcoming or onboarding process with videos. You're more than welcome to watch that. I'm not going to watch that at all, but I'm I'm going to explain to you exactly what's going on here. All right, guys, so welcome to the Wix editor. So this is where all the magic happens, and this is where you create a beautiful blog that you are going to love. So before we dive in, let's quickly run through a couple of settings and elements uh, that uh, so I can explain to you where to use what and what does what, you know? Okay, so the first thing's up. So this is the nice little hero image here with some text here. And then we've got the main menu on top here. And then we've got all these settings um, right above that. So the site, the, the, this, this first one here, you can actually publish your site or you can save. You can go ahead and publish your site. I mean, your site is not being crawled by Google yet, so no one will find your website on Google. So it doesn't matter. You don't have to be worried about it at all. 
This is also where you can exit your editor to your dashboard and everything else is pretty much self-explanatory. Then we have settings. As I said, at settings here, we can connect your domain to a an extension like .com, .co.za. At the moment, your your blog it has is as a subdomain, which can be a little bit unprofessional, and I really don't like like that at all. But if you are serious about getting this blog up and running, definitely connect this with a domain. But we will go through that a little bit later, and then we can get uh, we can go to uh, how to get found on Google. This is actually a wizard, a SEO wizard, a search engine optimization wizard that will guide you on how to actually add your your blog to um to google analytics and all that favicons you can add favicons and all the rest of the stuff you can go for here by yourself then we have tools tools if you want to click this one here you just saw that the one that the toolbar here on the on the right has disappeared and if you want it back you can have it but it doesn't really matter then you have the grid lines and then you also have snap to objects um so you can choose which ones to have and which ones you want to take away. So it's totally up to you. Then we have the development mode. Development mode is more if you're into the custom coding and so on. Then we've got help. If you need any help, you can use the help here. And then we have to upgrade. So upgrade is um, um, completely up to you. Um, I would highly recommend it just because it will remove the Wix ads. So if we, what I'm talking about here, if we go to preview, you can see here, it's got this big banner on top here, upgrade your website to remove Wix ads. So this will actually display on your blog for um, for um, for visitors coming over to your blog. So they will actually see that this blog was made by Wix and you're currently on a free platform or on a free package. And that's, that is why they are displaying this ad. So it is very important to remove that ads when you go live or when you want to take this blogging thing serious. But we'll talk about that a little bit later, but let's talk about the cool stuff. So now we've got this nice Euro image, we've got texture. We even got pre-installed social bar here on the right. So on the left, you've noticed we've got all these little, little bubbles. And before we dive into those, I want to quickly bring your attention to something. So if you see this, this is the main menu, but if you can't click on this, about uh, 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 button here to take it to about pages you have to go to this one right here and then you have to go and click on the about one on about button i'll take you directly to the about page and that's kind of how you cycle through the pages but you can also use this little bubble here on the left here so this will actually this will actually bring this will actually show more um settings than going to this drop down here so if you want to rearrange the the pages you can just go ahead and rearrange it like that and it will actually rearrange it you know over here so that's kind of how you rearrange that menu this menu right here so if you can you can go down here and you can go to settings the issue you can actually change the issue settings you can rename you can copy duplicate or delete and if you want to add a page, so let's say, for instance, I don't want to have this relaxed one. I can go ahead and delete it completely. Yes, sir. I want to delete that. Thank you. And now I will also want to delete this video one. I don't need this video one. It's a blog. Most of the content will be around text. Now I'm going to add a contact us for sure. So now I'm just going to say contact us. And then we say done and that's how easy it is to create a page so if we x out here again now we have this uh, menu on top here but we don't see the contact us so let's go back here so now you can see there's a um the contact us on this main pages but if you close this you don't really you don't you, there's no contact us here. So the way you can change this, if you click on this main menu, you go to manage menu and then say show pages and then just go ahead and click that uh, uh, tick, I, uh, tick box right next to contact us and then just hit apply. There we go. Now we have now we have contact us in our menu. We can just maybe just drag it just basically 
right next to travel or we can leave it at the very end it doesn't really matter so now we're going to go ahead and show uh, i mean apply and then we can go ahead and x out here so that's how we can add menus or pages to our main menus let's go back to home page and now we have let's work through all of these little these little balloons or little um buttons here on the left so background we are going to use this background quite a bit to change pictures and colors and videos but i'm going to go and show go ahead and show you a different way now and then we have all these elements this is the the, the all the elements you can use to actually add to your blog and i'll show you how to add elements to your home page and then you can go you can go ahead and add all these kind of cool elements to the rest of the pages on your blog so now and then we have uh, um, add apps apps is kind of like the same as your app store for your phone you can add cool apps um, some are premium some are free it just enhances or it brings new features to your blog that is very cool and very um very nice um add-ons you can you can add to your to your blog then we have media we'll definitely go through media and then we are also gonna gonna go through my blog and i'll show you how to write your very first blog post but let's continue and kind of get into the editing part so now i want to change this picture here i click on this strip or in this in this big block click and i go ahead and say change strip now this little block pops up and i want to go to say change image Now this cool, very, very cool um, media library from Wix pops up. Now you can get this media from Wix, uh, which is completely for free. You get Shutterstock. These are obviously paid images. You have to pay for these. You can see a free, three dollars, three bucks for this image and for that. And then the, another site you can go for is Unsplash. Now Unsplash is royalty free, super beautiful images you can use for your blog absolutely for free so now i'm in the hiking so i'm just going to go ahead and say hiking oops there we go so now it's gonna now it's gonna find all images related to hiking and all you can do is just scroll through all of these or look for all of these and find one you like and i'm gonna go for this one right here so i'm, so I'm just gonna go and say change background now i have this beautiful background here you know um on my home page but only one problem it's this white text on this background is a little bit hard to read so what i can do is just go ahead and go for the settings here and what you see here is this color behind image is actually green and if you change the opacity it makes it green and i don't want green so i'm just going to change it to a solid black color now if i go back and change it now you can see the text is actually um uh, getting a bit more better or easier to read and that's kind of how you place a a overlay on top of your background image and make um the text to stand out a little bit more the way you can edit your text is also extremely easy you just go ahead and click there on the text and double click and say iking news and i can go here and say Based hiking spots something relevant to your blog you know and then i can just say there you go and that's how easy it is to change text but let me quickly show you some more so obviously if you click on this you can get this little um this bubble here you can go ahead and click on uh, on this edit text now you can say it's paragraph one and you can obviously change it up the way you want so we just don't want it we don't want it to be uh, any heading so we can choose any paragraph here so you, if you choose paragraph two it's going to change the font size and so on and so on we can obviously change the font size and we're going to make it something that is very common and that is aerial and it's just a you know if, uh, just just a fair bit of uh, warning just stick to one or two fonts throughout your blog do not go overboard with your fonts um it's just going to make your slide extremely slow 
and Google does not like a slow site. So now if I want to add a button here, right? So I can go ahead and come to add and go to button, very straightforward and add a button. I'm just gonna go ahead and drag it. And this is the cool power of Wix. You know, it's a drag and drop holder. You can literally uh, move and rearrange and align things the way you want without any special code. So now I'm just going to go ahead and change the text and say learn more. Learn more and then add a link to my about us page. So page this and go ahead and say about us page and done. And then what I can do next is definitely change the design of the button. It's pretty ugly. So I'm just going to go ahead and say customers customize design. I'm just going to go for this one here. And then I'm going to change the color to something like this orange here. That's pretty cool. And then I also want to change the borders. I'm just going to go ahead and say um, the radius of the corners is 20. Now I can see what my my actual button looks like at the moment i like it a lot the only thing i don't like is the text the the, the font so i can just go back again here to the design all the way down to text and then just change the the, the font uh, to Arial. easy as that and maybe make it a bit smaller to say 21. there we go and then make it bold that's it that's how easy it is to make a button in Wix. Extremely easy. And um, yeah, and then you can just link it out to wherever you want. So then we are going to move on to the next part. So I'm just gonna go ahead and right click on this element here and then just delete it. And then also gonna go ahead and delete all of this. I don't want it, it's not relevant to my site. I just wanna show you how you can do it. You can just literally click on the element and just hit delete. That's how you can delete everything so now i'm going to start from fresh S start a um i want to add some text here and i want to add a heading heading two so now i'm going to drag it to where i want it to over here and then i want to say um what we do Something like that, you know, something that can draw a little bit more attention. So the idea here is to let people exactly know, you know, when they when I get when I arrive, when I land on your on your block, you want to let a, the, your visitor know exactly what you do and wh how you do it and where you do it and so on. So that, that's kind of the idea here is to add a features section. So go ahead and add and go to go to strip. Sorry for that. Go to strip and then go to services. And at services, you can go ahead and choose something that is kind of fit, kind, but that's kind of something that fits your style, right? So I'm gonna go and go for these little blurbs here. These look cool. These look cool. I mean, so now it's obviously all the way down at the bottom. What you can do is to move this whole element, this whole section or strip. You can just click and drag it all the way to where you want it. To right there perfect so now what we need to do is we need to change all these to something relevant to our to our blog so over here I can say best hiking shoes and then have a link out to uh, best hiking shoes post or best hiking shoes page or whatever the case might be and over here I can just say best hiking spots in India and then you can have a link that links out to um, to a page or post that that's got everything to do with all the spots in India so now you can obviously just change the colors to where um, you want it so if I go here to manage columns or change column background I can just go to color and then choose the same orange again that we used before. So you kind of want to keep a want to keep a um, a fresh kind of design that goes through throughout your whole blog. Okay, so we'll move on to the next one. So I'm just going to go ahead and right click and delete this completely. I don't want that. So let's start with a new new section. So now I'm going to go back to add and go to strip, and I want a a team. 
and look for something that I can add here. Or maybe let's look at let's have a look at the about. This looks pretty cool. So I'm just gonna add this one here. So the idea here is is to tell people like you know straight from from the get go who you are and what you do and so on. So now I want to change this picture here to you know to a picture of myself. So I'm just gonna go here and go to images. And then I'm gonna go to say upload media, and now I'm gonna go ahead and drag and drop a picture here um, from my computer. Okay, so I found this picture of this dude. This dude, this is this is me. It's obviously not me. It's just a guy. <laughs> so now I want to crop and edit this image quickly just to make sure it fits. So all I need to do is just bring it up a little bit like that and then just go ahead and save and then say change background. Perfect, now we've got this cool looking picture of this dude staring at the active volcano he wants to conquer. And yeah, that's perfect. So now here on the right, we have this part here. We have a little bit of area where we can tell people a little bit about ourselves and if they want to read more, they can always click on this button and this button will take them directly to the about us page. So now we can obviously change the, the color here, change color and I wanted to make it this orange again. So we kind of want to keep our style like I mentioned before. So let's close that and then let's move on. That's how easy it is to add elements and change it. It's, it's extremely easy guys, what do you guys think? And now we want to add a blogging section, you know, where people can actually dive right into our content right off the bat. So I'm just going to go back to text and also titles. And then I want, say, for instance, this one here. This one is an all caps title. And then I want it right here in the middle. And I want to say fresh from the blog. There we go. So now, obviously, you can tell um, it is it is moved to the next line. I don't want that. So all you can do is click and then just drag this out until it fits. And then you can just move it to where you see this line. This is the center line. There you go. And then what we can do is just definitely make that text bigger, you know, maybe something like that. Yeah, that's cool. Let's click on that, move that. There we go. Here we go. And then move it or maybe to that all the way to the left and then see Yes, so what we can do over here or what we should do is just there we go. That's perfect. So now we've got this little nice text area um, where we can tell people what to expect from our blog. There we go, central line. So now the next part we can just go here and then we go down to blog right there. And then we can choose any custom feed here that we want. So now I like this one here. I'm just going to drag it and drop it. There you go. Just like that. Now we've got all the articles that is um, on my blog right here, just below this section here. So now if you go to manage post, you'll go to an area where an archive of all your blog posts. But before we do that, I just want to show you something else. So now when we are in this um, section, just go to settings. And then you can choose category. So, so now the, the cool thing here is if you talk about hiking in India, which will we'll, um, create a category in a, in a couple of minutes, then it will pop up here. Then you just choose that category. So for instance, travel in India, there you go. And it will show only post from traveling in India. That's how kind of how you, you manage to create that. So for instance, you say for instance, you have this part here, travel in India, you click on that button, it'll take you through to a page um, a traveling to India page and that's how you kind of set the the category to be shown on that specific page. I hope it makes sense. So I'm just going to quickly come back here, choose category and just go here and say all post. If you use this 
featured post only, it won't display your latest post. So just remember that. Okay, and then you obviously you can change the design, page title, paragraphs, image overlays, and so on. This is ver very easy to go through, it's self-explanatory, you can definitely go through that. Then we want to then we want to add, say for instance, a contact box here, uh, a contact area where people can contact us. So then you just come down to strip and go down to contact us. Scroll down a little bit. So and then you can use this one here. So now we've got this nice little contact area here. And the reason for this is it's to make things a little bit easier for someone to get hold of you. So they don't have to flip through all the pages to get to your, your contact us page. They can actually get in contact with you right off the bat. So very important to go through this form and um, go here. So we land on this main page, go to settings, and it's very important to add or make sure uh, your email notifications uh, are correct. So if you if someone completes this form and hits submit, just make sure that email gets sent to the correct email address. So remember that email when you used to sign up for weeks, that email, that specific email, that email will get this submission um, from this contact form. So it is very, it's, uh, very important to remember that. So if you want to change it up, you can always go to other mails. Just make sure, yes, I'm sure, then add email. Then you can just add an email address where you want this contact form to be sent to. Okay, cool. So that's very important. Just make sure everything is fine here. So as you've noticed, if you use these strips in Wix, every strip is different and every strip's got a different font. Like I mentioned before, make sure all your fonts right through this, your complete um, Wix block is all the same. Okay. All right, let's move on. So now we've got this little strip here with all the social shares or the social following. Just make sure if you come in here and change, um, um, just add your social links to make sure <coughs> um, if someone clicks on that, they get to your Facebook page. So this is where you're gonna add your Facebook page, your, your URL. Cool. And then we have this very cool looking Instagram strip here or Instagram feed strip. Just make sure to add your Instagram account and it will actually automatically um, update the strip of all your of all your um, cool um, Instagram posts. Okay, cool, this logo. So obviously we have to make it a lot smaller. So let's do that right now, like that. And then the, first, no, 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 the next thing we can do is just click here on the header, the, this, this header section and just stretch it a little bit. Just give it some breathing space. Now we're gonna try to add our logo and it is still maybe a bit too big. So what we can do is we can go ahead and crop it. Hit this crop icon and we can just go ahead and just like that and then just like that. Perfect and then let's hit this to apply and we can go and try again. Just like that, how cool is that? So, so remember, if it if it if you drop your if you drop your logo and it doesn't fit, just remember to crop it, and that is obviously a very big, um, a very big obstacle for a lot of guys starting off with Wix. Like they can't figure out how to fit that logo there. So now we've got this very cool logo. We've got all these nice little uh, this main menu, and also we have the social bar. Just make sure to add your social links to that um, social bar. So now we are going to move over to writing our first blog. So let's go do my blog and then we're gonna go to manage post first. Cool, so now we are in the, the library or the archives of all our posts. So the first thing you wanna do is change your name. That is for sure. So let's change that to our real name so people can see who's the author of writing these texts. So also obviously you can tell these these um, all these different uh, templates, they come, uh, come with pre-written blog posts. Make sure to lead each and every one of them before you hit publish or before you share your Wix blog. These are obviously, they are not for, they're not gonna be relevant for your blog. So that's very important. 
and now we are going to dive right into actually creating your very first blog post so let's let's go so create a new post and now we're gonna say free oops free best spots to hike in india perfect so now we are going to so this is going to be our main title okay so now we're going to go to categories and say create category and say hiking in india right okay so now we created that hiking that category which what i mentioned before so let's close that okay this is where you add your first line of text there we go and then we just kind of like your first intro and then we have some some a little bit more and then the next one here we can go ahead and say we want to add an image so this image is obviously an image that is going to be relevant to this uh, blog topic or this uh, article so i don't have an image that is very um you know out of my experience of traveling india so i'm just going to go ahead and use one from upsplash just to show you guys a little bit how you can add and customize images in the blog post editor i'm just going to use this one here and say add the page and then i'm just going to go ahead here and say save as draft just to make sure it's saved and then we've got this beautiful image right here so now we can obviously say we can align it to the left line it to the right and then obviously align it in the middle and then we can also make it smaller and a little bit more wider so just make sure it doesn't pixelate but anyway so that's you can use all that and then obviously you can use this one your edit image which you can actually go into the editor and use overlays and put some text on it and so on and so on you can even add a link to this image here cool so now let's add some more text and then we want to add say um let's talk about the free places right because um that's our main heading so let's say first place okay so now we uh, want to add some more text here and say for instance we want to talk we want to start discussing the first place now first and then some some more text and now we want to say for instance this this first section here is about the hotel you stayed in right so now i want this lorm ibsen is the hotel name and i want to link out to that hotel name so i just kind of i just highlight that go over here and then enter the hotel name right here and hit save save as draft again saving all right so now i have this link that will link out to the hotel and the next thing i want a to add a video of that hotel and the cool thing about this i can go to youtube vimeo or facebook to add to add a link so now i can just right click here copy link or i can just upload a video so now when i paste this link and add it will import this cool video of me in india traveling for india obviously this is not me this is just a borrowed video but you get an idea so now i can go ahead and add some more text oops add some more text and kind of complete my my um my blog post like that and that's kind of how easy it is to add a blog post in Wix. Another cool thing I want to show you here, if you have this list here, or you want to make it a list or a number list or a bullet list, just highlight it and just come over here to the number list or the bullet list. And that's kind of how you go about adding a number and bullet list to, to, to your blog post. So yeah, that it's not very difficult. It's very easy to, to add um, text and pictures and videos to your blog um, in, in Wix. But the most important thing I also wanna show you here is to go to settings first and add a display cover. So now let's um, add one here. So I made one in Canva, uh, very straightforward, very straightforward one um, you can use. 
just like this. I'll leave a link in, in the, the, the description. You can take it directly to Canva. So now I've already downloaded this image here. I just go back here and I can just drag and drop. Okay, when it's uploaded, I can just say add to page. There we go. Now let's see, I can add an excerpt if you want and then set as feature post. So you don't want to do that uh, because you want the, the newest post to be on top. All right, so let's go to SEO settings and make sure everything is fine. So now this is going to be the preview on Google. So this is this is the problem right here. So your site is going to be your sitename.com. So obviously you want it to be hikerstrail.com. But we'll talk about it in a couple of seconds. So this is very important um, to, to configure this and optimize this for the best uh, possible um, 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 uh, chances of ranking in Google, Google. So we have to go ahead and change this once again to um, three best places to hike in India. Full guide full guide and uh, hotels to stay in. All right, so now I added a cool description. I'm just gonna add, take this out and just make it free. So now I've got this cool description. So if someone uh, someone lands on this page here and I, and I read three best places to hike in India, three best places to hike in India, full guide and hotels to stay in. And it's like, wow, okay. So it's not only just, um, uh, um, a post is actually a guide or whatever you guys, you know. So it's very important to get the SEO 100% right for this. And it's also very important to not have a website called your site name. Um, but we'll quickly go through that. So let's go ahead and publish this. Right, the CEO live post. All right, so let's quickly X out of here. So now we can see our first post here. So let's go back to our post, our website. So let's close this and go to preview. Let's publish this, the website, our blog. Published. Okay, cool. So now you can see here, if we say visit site, click on this right here. This is our site name, yaku14323.weeksite.com. It is, it is not what you want. It is not very professional. You have to go and make sure um, that you change this. And I'll show you now how you can do it. You want it to say hikerstrail.com and that's it or hikerstrail.co or whatever the case may be. This is not what you want. This is not very professional, but at the beginning, it's, it's, if, it, if it, is, it is easy and um, very straightforward to set up your blog. And for most people, it, it, it works for now. But if you wanna take your blogging very serious, please upgrade that to a, to a more suitable domain name. So if we scroll down, it'll take us directly to our blog post. Right, cool. Now you can see this is our blog post right here and all the other blog posts and our contact form down below. So let's quickly go back to this over here. So now the best thing you can do here if you want to be serious, is just go ahead and go done and um, quickly close here. Then the next best thing you can do when you're done designing and building your blog and um, adding posts to it and you're super excited to share your blog with the world and your friends, please just make sure to add a custom domain name to your blog. And the best way to do this is to come to settings and say connect to domain name. Okay, so this page opens up, it says get a domain name for your site, replace yes. Okay, so we want to replace this domain name. This is not very professional and people won't take us serious if we start promoting a website or a blog with a name like this. So the next thing you can do is buy a new domain name. It'll take you through to a page. Where you can go ahead and search for um, a domain name. So let's say hikerstrail.co and search. Hikerstrail.co is available, can you believe that? So let's go ahead and say get it. Now, you have to upgrade your 
your package with Wix to be able to connect to a to, to, to a domain like uh, hikerstrail.co. So if we go to upgrade now, so it opens up this pricing plan here. So you can go for this connected domain name and you will, you, you'll be able to connect your blog with a domain name. That is very cool and that's exactly what you want. However, this one displays, still displays Wix ads and we don't want Wix ads. The Wix ads is this uh, top here. So every time when someone visits your site, this will be in their face all the time. This site was built by using Wix, or if you want to build your own website, use Wix, or whatever it can be. So your website will be full of ads. And we don't want that. We want a clean, professional looking website. So the best option I, I would say is go for this combo one right here for personal use. This, however, is cheaper right now. It is at $6.25, but it is obviously the last day. So I would definitely opt for this one. And if if um, if this is available to you, go for this. This is this is quite cheap and a cool thing. You get seventy-five dollars ad vouchers. You get the site booster app. Um, you know, worth sixty dollars, and that's very cool. But the main thing, the main thing here is just to get rid of the Wix ads. That is the most important thing. You need to select this one here. And obviously, it's going to ask you uh, for a, a, a payment period. And you can obviously, however you want, you can go for 12 months, you know, a yearly or two years, whatever your budget is like, and just select that and go for it. And that is the best way I um, to 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 promote your blog or to release your blog into the wild, if I can, if I can say that. Um, you know, when people get to your blog, it's got a very custom URL. The blog is very cool looking. It is fast. It, it looks very modern. And the cool thing is it's without any ads. So yeah, guys, that is about it. Um, the rest is very self-explanatory when it comes to Wix. It is super easy to use, straightforward, and it's perfect for someone just starting out. So if you build a blog, please go ahead uh, put a link up in the in the comment section i would love 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 to see your blog and then yeah let's uh, let's um, let's share our blogs and if you found this video very helpful please hit the like button also uh, also um, consider subscribing it will help this channel a lot it is brand new and it will be a huge inspiration for me to continue doing videos like this all of the best to your blogging journey and i'll see you in the next video thank you